Okay, guys. Uh, this one is similar, except we're not using a deck of cards anymore. We're back to using counters. Um, decks of cards, we know there's going to be 52, and we're always going to work it out based on that. With counters, it can always be different. Uh, first thing to do, in a bag, there are 20 counters. Seven are green, four are blue, and the rest are yellow. If I select one at random, find the probability as a percentage this time that the counter is yellow. First thing you've got to do, go around and highlight all the stuff you need. Okay, 20 seven counters in total. Seven, okay, seven green, four blue, and the rest are yellow. What I would probably recommend doing is before you actually go on to anything else, work out how many of them are yellow. So I've got Dylan calling out a random number that's wrong and Jacinda calling out a random number that's correct, which is? Jacinda's smart. Nine. Jacinda's smart. Nine. I said 11. Yes, you did. Which is wrong. Other ones that you add up to get. Good, good, good start. Then luckily Jacinda was there to help you out with the rest. Yeah. Yeah? The rest. Yeah, the rest. What's that part? That's the part where we work out how many of them are yellow. Okay? All right. So if you've done that up there, you've already got what you know. So you sort it out. You don't need to figure it out later on. Okay. Uh, first thing you do, you, what are you trying to find the probability of? Yellow. Yellow. So we've got a probability of Y equals. Now, how many yellows are there? Out of how many? I was about to say 11. Out of how many? Don't say 11. It's here. Out of how many? 20. 11 the answer to everything. 11. What 42 was? No, it's 11. 11 now. It's like a blazer, that's right. <laughs> I'll put on my waistcoat. That trumps a blazer any day. It does when you're my size. Does it have a pocket on the inside? Okay. So no, it doesn't. I'm, I'm suffering. I don't have pockets at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Probability of yellow is 9 over 20. Work that out. First stage. First stage. First stage. Work it out as a decimal. So chuck that in your calculator, oh, press the SD button. What is it? 0 0.45. 0 0.45. Okay, so that's it as a decimal. How am I going to get it as a percentage now? Well, you've pressed SD and you've got it as a decimal. Oh, no. Oh, times times by 100. Yes, times by 100. Gives you 45%. You don't actually have to do it if you can recognise that. 0.45 is 45% then you're fine. Yeah. The, the time where it's really, really useful to do it is when you've got 0 0.45684328432, whatever. And then you look at it and go, oh, times by 100 and at least close 45 point, and then you can round it off yourself. Cool? What's the bracket? Times 100. Just so that you remember how to change it from a decimal to a percentage. All good with that? 